Light and blessings. This is Shamanic Awa Priestess here. And I wanted to make this quick video before my girls came back because they're at the store and my two boys are with their dad today. We had a nice, wonderful um girls' day today. We went out to have dinner and did some shopping and just had some girl time. And I just came back a little bit ago and the girls went out to the store to just walk around and stuff like that so my oldest daughter took the little one so I figured since I had a little bit of time here and the house is actually quiet because one of my biggest things is um if I'm not doing readings the house isn't quiet enough to make videos or I'm like sometimes I'm so tired um so I was like let me make this quick video so I had talked in a previous video about wanting to make a series on every day herbs that you can use in your magical practices that does not break the bank. So the first herb that I wanted to talk about was basil. And basil is an everyday herb that you could buy at the dollar store, your local supermarket. And it's a very underestimated herb because it has a lot of magical uses. Um, I'm not going to talk about medicinal uses too much here as I am not a doctor or a licensed physician and I don't want to be legally responsible for someone trying to cure something with herbs okay I feel like that's at your own discretion do your own research not liable for what you do um, with the information okay so first we're going to talk about like I said is basil other names for it is acum, bolicum also known as the common basil St. John's wort and witches, witches herbs. Sorry about that. Um, I have little notes here so I don't forget. So the correspondences for basil are zodiac wise, Aries and Scorpio. Solar system um, has um, connections with Mars, Pluto, and Venus. Um, Sabbats in bulk. The energy is a yang energy. Um, gender male, so more of an active energy. Day of the week for basil is Tuesday, and the element is fire. So, different things that you can use basil for in spiritual practices and magical reasons. It's good for the afterlife, it's good for assertiveness, attraction, balance, banishing, so getting rid of negativity and things that we no longer want is good for business so attracting clients attracting customers attracting money to us attracting abundance it's good for calming it's good for um cheerfulness clairvoyance so inner seeing uh, opening up our spiritual eyes clarity concentration focus confidence is good for courage uh, it's good for divination um it's good for energy it's good for fertility friendship happiness healing um healing situations with another person um it's good for breaking hexes it's good for creating a peaceful atmosphere at home you can use basil for love you can use basil for luck you can use basil for attraction you can use basil to receive spiritual message from your spirit guides um, you can use basil to enhance your psychic ability. You can use basil for purification you can use basil for success you can use basil for wealth Okay, um, you can use basil for happiness, peace, family, and home, protecting the house from any evil hexes or evil eye. You can create spiritual baths with basil. You can create spiritual floor washes and use basil as one of the main ingredients. Um, you can use basil as a base for a oil that you would anoint a candle with. So you can use basils for a lot of things. There are certain spirits, which I'm not going to share that part. It's a certain spread that I work with that she loves basil. So you can even use it as an offering. Um, you can use basil for exorcism. You can use basil for, um, you can use basils, like I said, for make incense blends out of them. Take herbs and burn raw herbs. Um, like I said before, oils and spiritual baths. So you can use basil in so many different ways. It's not necessary to go out there and buy some of these herbs that are like $20 a pound or $30 a pound or things like that. So, like I said, I do use rare herbs, but again, like I do this for a living and something that take on very difficult cases. But I feel like basil you can use on your everyday 
things. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're solitary and you kind of just do it things for yourself. Like there's things you can actually do a lot of things with basil. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this series. I'm going to go through about 13 herbs. So it's going to be a once a week um, video that I'm going to be making on the magical uses of herbs. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for next week for the next installment. Bye. Love you guys.